We're live right around the time where like Florida's cooked. Apparently, Aiden Ross put out like a call to to just two like I believe it was two specific people. He was like, I'll give you guys 70k if you go and live stream from the hurricane. But apparently that wasn't communicated well enough because other people started doing it thinking that Aiden Ross was offering 70k to people who did it. So we have footage here of somebody doing it. Um, and I don't, again, I'm pretty, I'm from the West Coast. That's half of it. I'm also retarded. Combine these, right? I'm not, I don't understand fully, but like, is this man gonna die? Are we talking like 80% death rate for this guy right here? Maybe, probably. Anyway, here's one of, this is a dude here who's like, I'm here to collect my Aiden Ross 70K. I gotta get the f out of here! I didn't remember that's how it started. I gotta get the f out of here. This is crazy Am watching. I <laughs> Am I lagging? Am I lagging? No, my phone's getting f***ed up. No. Yeah, no shit. Your phone's getting... Okay, so now it's 69K. His phone's getting f***ed. So now we're we're already down. Actually, it's more like 68.8 if he's buying new. No, There's no, no, one no. part of this that killed me. You ready for it? It's coming up right no, no, here. No, 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 no. Help. Uh, you can see it oh, there. No. He came prepared. Do you see it? It's already in the background. Okay. I mean, Do you see it? He's holding on to it now. Do you see what he brought? Okay. Help me! Okay, zoom in. <laughs> it's, a fucking, it's a single umbrella. Bro has his... <laughs> Is it not a tent? I, 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 can I be honest with you? It gets so mangled in this video, it's hard to tell. Please save me! Oh, is it a tent? <laughs> Save me! Oh, it is a tent, or it's some something, some sort of I don't even know. Wipe this off. And an inflatable okay, mattress. Dude, what do you mean it's starting to calm down? Oh shit! No, bro. That's just starting to pick up. No, that is an it's umbrella. Oh, that's it. Okay, so then um, the information got to him that Aiden Ross is not offering. This to him in the form of Aiden Ross in his chat was spamming. Help him. Get out! Evacuate! The 70k was not for you, dude. Get out, leave. And so then I guess while live, he found this out. Aiden Ross commented that said he's not paying. Also, look at the wall. Look how much high. Wait a minute. Did he get an inflatable mattress to like hopefully float his way? This is insane. Look at how high up the water is now. Is the you know, it's a raft? Oh my god! That dude, this man is dead. Wait, 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 wait! Just him realizing the money's not for him. Aiden Ross just commented and he said he's not paying me. What the f I'm out here risking my life to feed my family and then you bang on me like that? Nigga, f you. Shit. Nigga just scanned me. That's f up. Nigga just scanned the f What the f That's that! I don't have any Bro updates on him. Huckleberry Finn his ass through an act of God. Were those his socks? He was. I love the idea of like like wringing out socks in the middle of a hurricane. Like, dude, you're you're gonna be wet for the foreseeable future. There's also I don't have this pulled up. There's that guy. Everyone's calling him Lieutenant Dan. He owns a very small boat, a very small boat, and he's like, I'm just gonna ride this out. The authorities approached him and were like. Please fucking leave. And he's like, I think I got this. This is Lieutenant Dan. His plan that's gone very viral is to ride out the hurricane on his little boat. We got three hours until high tide. And we're checking in on Lieutenant Dan. Who is the person here? Why is there anyone left to film it? Lieutenant Dan! Oh Are you in there? There he is! That thing is so... That thing is as old as he is. Dan! We need an interview! There he is! There's our guy! Did you hear the squeak on the on the roof of it? This thing ain't gonna live. His boat's also on its last leg. There he is! There's our guy! Yo, oh, look at him! Yeah! <laughs> this man hasn't been sober in 30 hey. years, dude. Staying on this side of the pole, but it's actually still low tide. If you believe that. He says it's still low tide when it's in three hours high tide, but his boat... <laughs> I love correcting him. He's saying it's low tide, it's not. <laughs> We're, we had to swim to get here, Lieutenant Dan. Can't hear a word. Can't hear a word. Oh, here we go. Lieutenant Dan explains why he will not leave his boat. Let's give him a chance. Explain to them why you're deciding to stick out a Category 5, one of the worst hurricanes in Tampa history. 
I can't hear a fucking word of this. Why is this even going viral? I'm my favorite man. Um, God told me to come out here and get a boat. I came out here and got a boat. Oh. Everything that he's been telling me over the last two days is I'm doing the right thing. Oh. How do, can I ask a question, chat? If, let's say you pick a single location, right? And, and like you just set up a camp, whatever, a monitoring device. How long in that one location are you hit with insane wind until it's like, okay, we, we serve, we made it past the hurricane. I know this is a dumb question, super ignorant, but like, like at that one point between 12 and 24, oh, he's dead. This guy's dead. This man is dead. I was thinking maybe if like, as it's passing, you get like an hour of the worst of it. And then if you get lucky, you've made it. It could be like 24 hours. You're dead. He's dead. This man's dead. He's got to be, right? There's going to be a <laughs> lot of Darwin Awards handed out in the next couple days. Yeah. Just go in circle. So the plan's just to stick it out here? Yeah. I mean, the water's going to come in. It's going to rise. If you're on land, it's going to flood. You're risking drowning. I'm in a boat. The boat goes up with the water. He <laughs> literally... Bro. The safest place in the world to be is on my boat, and I got room for one more female. When he Stop. purchased the boat no! from me, he kept- Also, people saying the implication. This might be the strongest use of implication ever. Hey, baby, you trying to fucking drown? Blah, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Is that the hurricane or your queef, baby? Woo wee okay. Oh, there was one other I wanted to show you. This guy, like, strapped his house down? Hold on. This is crazy. Man straps down his home as Milton arrives. This- <laughs> Listen, we as America, we hate Florida. Like Florida, the people suck, the state sucks, most cities there suck. However, we will come together and put the memes aside when this happens. You know what I mean? Like you get not only a pass, but you get my love and you get my support during these hours. We want you to be safe so that way I can feel better about being just so mean to your state. Like if you're gone, the rest of the um, America is going to start looking for other cities. The reason why I brought that up at all is because this guy came on screen and I went, oh yeah, that guy's from Florida. I mean, look what he did to the fucking truck. <laughs> so I put this tarp and some uh, bungee cord down so that way when a piece of plywood coming at 260 miles an hour, it should actually, it'll, it'll deflect right off the side of my truck. That's not English. Damn. Strap. Those those look pretty in there, dude. Those look pretty in. I'm this guy's good. He, I think it's smart. And hooks. Pedro Casares showing us his unconventional approach to keep. I, I, this looks solid, dude. <laughs> I just now in my mind pictured these things as the building gets more weakened, they just implode the roof in. <laughs> Going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere, dude. That's the concrete he's prepared ahead of time. No, I was thinking that too. Like he didn't put those in. This is part of the home. Sorry. Preparing my house for the hurricane. Um, right now, as you can see, the uh, the hooks <laughs> on the floor they're eight feet deep of cement. They have. Okay. Does that change anything to my experts in chat? Are we feeling better about it, or is this still a terrible idea? Yeah, but what if the winds come sideways, <laughs> like they do? Still, no. Not it changes fucking nothing. <laughs> We had a hurricane that we went through and the back she's of slipping her, a y in um, there you hear that we had a hurricane that we went through hurricane hurricane right and the back of her um roof lifted a little bit it was aluminum now roughly two thousand dollars in for the cement anchors and made to order straps from idaho that cover the fronts back and sides of the home they hold about five thousand four hundred pounds of weight and wind so <laughs> yeah, we're, we're giving it a test. <laughs> They're hoping it's enough to withstand Milton. Definitely just stay tuned for the aftermath, which you'll see. Listen, here's all I'll say about it, right? At the end of the day, if my house was this dude's house, I would be looking at this house going, why the f why didn't we get cement eight foot straps? Why, what? Shit. Shit. If you ever wonder what it's like to be inside of a hurricane, yeah, let's take a look at what it looks like to be inside of a hurricane. I think the difference is I would just simply survive it. There's certain fighting techniques too. It's not about stopping the force of an object coming at you. It's about redirecting. And if you can do it fast enough, um, you won't get hurt. So if I'm just planted there, you know, standing on business, I got quads. If some like a big piece comes at me, you just, you, you, don't, you don't even have to dodge it. You just move it out of the way as it flies at you. Or you could even go further, right? You can get a, one of them, like, you know, the cliff divers that wear the wingsuits? 
Someone said fat. 100 mile an hour wins, bucko. Like I said, light work. Florida's a beautiful place. Um, I feel like you're baiting me. I feel like you are trying to get me to say mean things right now about Florida. I'm not going to do it because Florida right now needs our love. But I hate that fucking place. It's crazy too. I'll like, like Charlie is probably the, 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 the most fringe case of someone I know who lives in Florida. And I look at him and I'm like, brother. The world is your oyster. You could set up a compound anywhere in, in within driving distance because he doesn't like to fly. And he's decided to curl up into the asshole of the United... I got to stop. We love Florida. Please follow the instructions of, of, of the mayor or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Turn on the news. I don't know. Do the right thing and be safe. We love you. I need your sub. Seriously, though.